Hey guys, this is Dr. Pedro from Portugal, the podiatrist. He's had neck pain for over a year and a half and we treated him six months ago. And you can check out that video if you go back to part one, you can see the whole thing over again. Remember, he's went to tons of different doctors, chiropractors, medical doctors, none of them could help. We helped him tremendously, but he wants more. So he's back to share how he's been for the last six months and to get a little fine tuning on that treatment. These are his old x-rays and we gave him a bunch of new adjustments. <laughs> he, he felt that one. Six months after I saw Pedro last, mm -hmm. and so he just flew over here to get another week of treatment. Why don't you tell us how you've been doing the last six months, Pedro? Yeah. Uh, I've been doing so much better. And like you said, uh, the, the posture that you, you taught me really helps to maintain the adjustments and, and uh, free of pain. Tell us the percentage that you think you're improved since um, the last six yeah. months. Some days uh, 60, 70 percent and other days around 90 percent. So free of pills. Free of pills? By the way. Yeah. I didn't really, yeah. I forgot yeah, about yeah, the pills. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were taking those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd you come back? To, uh, like you said, uh, to, uh, to, to put my, <laughs> my cervical to another level yeah, yeah, and yeah, maintain yeah. Uh, yeah. what we achieved. Oh, the pen. Oh, the pen. Let me get a pen. <laughs> Brand new Nobody's spitting it yet. So, before? I'm kind of curious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to tell me right now, since I can do this, then there must be still something going on with his jaw or his occiput and that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how he does after the adjustment. Mm -hmm. And then we'll still we'll test this before and after, and we'll see. I just love these guys are four years into chiropractic school. And this is all brand new to them. Mm -hmm. They've hardly ever seen any of this crap. <laughs> We're so surprised by everything we do here. We got an interesting test. Uh, Pedro has fle his flexibility changes when he engages his TMJ. That's about as far as he can go. Yep. And now he's gonna do this. And you guys can try this at home. It's kind of funny. And we all were like laughing when we saw it. So go ahead and put his right there. Just clump down. And his flexibility completely changes. Hoo ha. <laughs> so we're gonna test that after we adjust him. Generally, I don't do this the first day. Um, but I really want to get started. We're going to have one week with him, so we're going to try the Oxput. I have a peanut gallery back here you guys can't see because they're all too chicken to be on camera. No. Um, they uh, are going to watch and uh, let you guys watch his first Oxput adjustment. The proper way to do the Oxput is you have these scooped, you have these scooped uh, joints in there. So you can't just adjust it the way you adjust any other joint. You have to do it specifically of a scooping motion. So. I'm going to get right in here. What I do is I go right off the behind the posterior ear here, and there's a little fossa in here. And you can kind of, you can do it two ways. One, Gonstead comes in like this with her thumb. I don't like that because I can't, it's, it's, they put on their thenar eminence. It's too fatty here. I like to, I've come with, up with this kind of using my knuckle right here because it's a little less fat. And so I can get a better contact. So I come right in here, and you can feel that I'm on that right that. Okay, yeah. ready to go? <laughs> He, he felt that one. <laughs> you can actually, a lot of times the oxygen doesn't go the first time, but that went, uh, so cool. <laughs> See, that one didn't clunk um, like the other one did. Yeah. Yeah, that got a lot of stuff, but that didn't clunk. Okay, guys, we're going to adjust his hip because he has an eye and alien over here. And I didn't do that at all before. He thinks he has a sacral problem, sacral base problem, but um, the x-rays, which I've shown right now on here, are really rotated this way. So we're gonna do it uh, eye in. We're gonna contact this PSIS right here. I wanna rotate it towards me. Sorry about the, the uh, mic here. Okay. Can't let this go here. Good, wow, tight, what, what? Yeah, good. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel after that adjustment? Oh, looser. What, looser. I'm, I'm on light. Light. Good. Gotcha. So okay. we're gonna do the pen test because we fucking all want to see the pen test. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Fuck the pen. Yeah, conclusion. I don't have to <laughs> walk around with a pen. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Try the pen. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. How much difference? Not much, uh, Not much, much difference. difference. No. Yeah, I didn't see much difference either. Book pen test, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to retrain the trapezius muscles to lay down because when the trapezius muscles are elevated, it's similar to the fight or flight response. The higher they are, the more the brain perceives stress. It artificially changes the way the brain perceives the environment around you at this moment. See, if I was supine, I'd have to come in here like this to get C7. Yeah. But since I'm seated, I can come in here like this. He's really tight. Okay. He's still really, really tight. Okay. Good. Nice. Right there. Good. Bring your ear down a little bit. Good. Perfect. Right there. Good. So why do I have palms up on the ground, guys? You give more tension to the... More tension? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. That's interesting because the same kind of thing as external rotation of the hip. shoulders. More tension. Okay. So when you put your hands down, put your hands down for a second. Um, Pedro, yeah, push him down. So when you push him down, what is he doing? He's pushing down. Yeah, he's pushing down. So does that create more force or less force? More force. So more force creates what? More tension. Yeah. So palms up now. Now try to push down. He can't. Yeah. And so he's going to be more relaxed this way. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff you should learn in school, but it's pretty simple, right? It's so simple, yeah. Good, perfect. This is the end of three weeks with this uh, wonderful gentleman and his crazy wife <laughs> that likes coffee and likes to sleep on her stomach. Uh, there were some, some points that were not addressed uh, in the last time I was here. So, uh, um, besides that, uh, this occiput adjustment and, and some points, uh, like I said, uh, that were not addressed. There are always things to learn and, and consolidate uh, and add to, to, to your previous knowledge. So uh, I can uh, now um, progress with my air bands, my posture and, and be well for, for more time. How is the structure of this week different than this, the first two weeks? Mm -hmm. uh, it's essentially in the little things, details. We did occiput, I don't know if we got all these on video, occiput, atlas, we did C7 seated one day and we finished with two days of C3 adjustments. How those different adjustments affected you? The simple uh, adjustments uh, maybe affected me more uh, and allowed me to adapt what I'm doing uh, at each time. The, the middle of the neck adjustments uh, made me more relaxed and, and Make me yeah. feel better. As we talked about earlier, we did the sexy adjustments, which are the difficult ones, the occiput. We did that day one, Net, you heard how much it went. And he had a huge revelation. The whole left side of his ear and his, his jaw was all sore. And so that opened up a lot of things. And he loves the simple adjustment, which is the middle neck adjustment, which is C3, which is funny because everybody out there who is chiropractors or who are people who know chiropractical, I want an atlas adjustment. I want the one where you yank my neck and do the crane and do all that shit. And so, uh, but the simple one, he seems to have the best result from. Yeah. Talk about the posture too, how we corrected your posture. Again, it was the little things. Anything you learned this week that you sort of forgot or that you need to be reminded of? Maybe not the, the posture itself, but the distractions. Good. Yeah, I get distracted a lot uh, with the traffic signs and, and my lovely wife. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She is really sweet, but she is a distraction. <laughs> Distractions get you away from the premise of how to walk properly. And you're like, how hard could it be, Doc? Well, the thing is, is that our history, our past, really influences even six months later, even knowing what he knows with me, you still get distracted, and it happens in an instant. 